What's up everyone? I'm Crooked Stick. We are on Farming Simulator 22. Starting the new series uh, here on YouTube. Fells Brune 22. Yes, that's right. Fells Brune is back on Farm Sim 22. Uh, this is a modded map. It's, re it's converted from um, Farm Sim 19. Uh, there are some differences to the map um, it definitely does not start out like this I came in and did some work myself um, and went ahead and put some things in um, I sold every single thing that the farm comes with and I bought everything that I wanted uh, simply because I've done this map so many times and I've spent so many hours on this map uh, personal games um, on 19 and uh, I just really didn't want to start from the beginning again um, I didn't buy any more land um, we'll go to the map here and I'll show you really quick uh, you can see I only own these two fields and that's what you start out with we'll go to the farmland map um, I only have what uh, they gave me so I didn't up the land any um, the land has not been touched besides around the house and stuff I've done some landscaping um, other than that I haven't done anything um, else uh, I put in a wind turbine around in here somewhere um, and got rid of a building and brought in my own building not my own building but a modded building um, which is this one uh, if you want to see how this map starts out um, or anything like that, uh, I have a map tour for it. Uh, it just dropped the other day um, here on the YouTube channel. Just go check out um, my playlists. And uh, I have the map tours playlist. You can just go right in there and see all the map tours that I have available for you. Um, so I went through and got uh, equipment. Um, I didn't get, you know, a whole lot of stuff. I got everything we needed to start out, really. Um, I got a cedar. The, of course, you can see um, the uh, spreader for lime. Um, I went ahead and purchased the smaller roller. Um, I have the my favorite plow in the world um, out here. Um, and uh, everything else is in this garage here. I kind of tried to come in and put the uh, machines and implements where they would be when you start out on this map. Um, they usually have the harvester sitting here, a tractor out there with the cultivator, and then there's usually a tractor sitting uh, over by the house. Um, so anyway, uh, if you want to see how the map comes originally or you know, if you like the way this map looks and you decided you wanted to play on it, um, or you've never played uh, this map on Farm Sim 19, then definitely come check this map out on the map tour that I have on my channel. Um, other than that, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. We have uh, this field here that needs to be plowed, um, and this field here that needs to be harvested. Um, we have everything set and ready to go. Um, I do want to hook this up to our trailer really quick and then we will um, get started on some work here. Um, starting out I'm going to try and do most of the work myself uh, for the time being um, right now because we are uh, basically starting out with uh, just a little over half of what um, we would originally start out with you know we originally you start out on new farmer uh, with the hundred thousand in the bank um, I'm gonna go ahead and yeah let's go ahead and harvest oh, gotta go around um, I am doing this farm um, pretty much as a class farm uh, a lot of people do the strictly John Deere's or strictly Case, you know. Um, this one is as strict as I can be with class. Um, 
I know like John Deere, some of them, they have their own cultivators and, you know, things like that. So you can use a lot more equipment from John Deere. Um, but everything that I need to do, anything that's class, um, that's what we will get. <clears throat> um, so anything that I can get that's class or anything I can get and paint in class colors is what I get. Otherwise, um, I will use, you know, regular equipment. It does not bother me one bit. Um, you know, because in real life, uh, anyone that runs a class farm, you know, they're going to have cedars and things like that that aren't made by class. So uh, when it comes to things like this, I don't really care what brand it is. If I have the option to paint it class colors, I may do so. Um, but I don't mind having the implements that aren't class, but everything that I can get in class, um, I will. So, uh, if you don't like class, then I guess this won't be for you. <laughs> and it's nothing personal towards John Deere or anything like that. I mean, you know, I'm an American, I'm supposed to love John Deere, all that, but I just don't like the way they look that's pretty much all it is um, they are some amazing machines uh, especially the newer ones and everything just all the stuff that they can do um, you know I mean which you know there's a lot of other tractors out there too that are you know amazing um, but I've just really never been into John Deere tractors Um, and class I like their color green um, and then the white and the red accents and everything I just like it and uh, they look cool you know I mean the harvesters you know all pretty much all the harvesters combines um, you know they all pretty much look the same basically um, but the tractors and everything like class tractors I just I love the way they look um, they kind of have like a futuristic like bug bug quality to them and uh, I don't know I just I basically I just like the way they look it's a uh, nothing personal again you know I just I like class better than most of the rest but to be honest even um, my own personal maps that I'm doing uh, just my own personal gameplay uh, most of the time my harvesters are the case harvesters because uh, they're huge and they hold a lot um, I mean they hold uh, the one that I have I think it holds 30,000 liters so you know you can go for quite a while because uh, the one map that I have is on no man's land um, and it uh, I have some pretty huge fields on there pretty much every field I have on there I run two harvesters on um, right now I have uh, three harvesters all together um, I think six or seven tractors uh, they're all class um, some of them are the same kind just different wheel setup some of them are different than others uh, I have three that are totally different and three that are exactly the same but I did uh, different wheel setups on them and then I have a smaller one for just uh, or no two small ones for just smaller jobs um, you know, as far as, uh, like cleaning up in the cow barns and things like that, getting manure and, you know, uh, so I have eight tractors. Um, four semi trailers, two semis, uh, well, three semis altogether. 
but the one I hardly ever use. Um, I have four flatbed trucks. Um, I have um, <clears throat> three of the uh, Seed Hawk. I think it's the Seed Hawk ones. It's the ones where you have the air cart that you pull along with the uh, cedar. And uh, I have three of them. <clears throat> it's a pretty big operation. Uh, I can't run a whole lot of things together. And it is pretty spread out because I'm on PS4. Um, so <clears throat> uh, I can run two harvesters on one field. And then if I run the other harvester somewhere, it's got to be um, kind of far away. Otherwise, I get pretty laggy. Uh, mostly because of all the equipment that I have on the map. Um, some of the equipment is, you know, kind of close to each other. Um, <clears throat> but I've found if you kind of keep your stuff spread out when you get into big, uh, big operations like that, I've found if you kind of spread your... Uh, your machines and implements and stuff out uh, as much as you can um, you don't really get the lag or anything like if I was to be operating uh, say the harvester here and uh, have a tractor you know coming up behind me um, plowing or something and then I had you know a little harvester or something over there or even that tractor plowing or something I would probably start to get a little laggy because they're all three working so close together. But this is my favorite map from uh, the maps that came with FS19. Um, this was my favorite one to play on. And I have... Man, I bet you I put in over over a thousand, I know, guaranteed over a thousand hours on this map. Guaranteed. Um, it's just a really, really nice map. Uh, very well done. And I've just, I've spent so much time on this map and I got to know it. And, um, so it's, you know, I was ready for this map and it came out and I just I couldn't believe that it came out like right as soon as I was really really thinking about it quite a bit because uh, I don't um, I try to keep up with some of the news and things you know that's going on uh, on the Giants software site and uh, Farm Sim 22 uh, site um, I follow a few of them uh, but I did not even know that uh, Felsbroom was coming back. I had no clue. So it was quite a nice surprise uh, when I seen it. And like I said, it came at the right time because I was getting ready to uh, download Farming Sim 19 back onto my PlayStation. And now I don't have to. I was I was really looking through the games I already have on there to see what I could get rid of. So hopefully you guys enjoy um, the series. Uh, we are starting off with very nice, very good equipment, big equipment as you can see. Um, I think I spent uh, just a little over two million um, getting everything that I wanted and getting everything done to get ready for uh, this series. <clears throat> um, and then I put that wind turbine there that barely moves. Um, I put it up and that's what took us down to the 59,000 that we're starting out with. Because uh, I ran out of things that I could do without buying more land um, to get rid of the money that I had left over. Because I don't have the advantage of uh, PC 
uh, people where they can just adjust their money to whatever price they want and then put it back to where it was, you know. I don't have that advantage, so um, I just kind of do it, did a money cheat uh, and sold everything that I didn't want. And then uh, look at that, we can do that whole field 95%. Well, this time around, anyway, I th I don't think we were getting much of a yield, uh, much of a yield out of this uh, crop, anyway. So <clears throat> I forget what it was, honestly. I think it was like 39% yield or something, because it comes ready with the f uh, with the field already like that when you get the map. Um, and it's too late for you to do fertilizer or anything and, you know, get a better yield, so. <clears throat> uh, and I figured, you know, since right now, um, I wanted to get the class trailer. Uh, it really doesn't hold um, a whole lot. I don't remember exactly what it was that holds us. Take a look here really quick. <clears throat> 22.5. Or 14 tons. So uh, we held everything and checked that out. We got done with the harvest just in time. It's starting to rain. get this over here and hurry up and get it dumping um, and then I'll jump over to the harvester and hurry up and get it closed up so that uh, we don't get water down in our chute oh I shut it off damn it all right shoot in hurry up and close it up so we don't get our bin all wet. Let's see if I can back up to this thing and I tried to set some things up, uh, you know, having tools, places that they might put them, uh, like with the harvester and the tractors, like that tractor sitting there. Um, that's the way it is when you uh, when you come in on this map um, but they start you out with a, a couple tractors and you know just about everything you're going to need uh, but it was all small stuff and like I said at the beginning of the episode I uh, I've done this map quite a bit and quite a lot of time on this map and I really didn't want to I mean, I'm basically starting from the beginning, but I don't have to worry about buying tools and implements for a while. Uh, because I basically have everything that I need right now for some time. Um, this harvester will be the only one that we own for a while. Um, but I really didn't do a whole, whole lot. Um, honestly, I didn't. Um, I did a little bit of landscaping there so I could wrap that road around to that, uh, to this arch shed. Um, that way we could have something we could park, um, our harvester and, there we go. Now we can shut it down. Make sure I don't have my beacons on. Nope, they're good. Uh, the tail end of it does stick out just a little bit. We got maybe a foot of it sticking out, so it's not totally horrible. Alright. I guess we can go ahead and put this trailer away. We'll go ahead and jump in the uh, jump in 
jump in the garage here. <clears throat> down, down. Da, 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 da. There we go. And I even have my uh, class jacket on, so we're representing class on this farm. Uh, oh, I didn't hook up to it. It's like, wait a minute, why isn't this thing unfolding? And if you don't know what this plow is, this is the Lizard SM72, and they have a Lizard SM82. Um, the 82 is a little bit bigger than this one. Um, but they are great plows. Uh, if you haven't, um, if you have big fields, uh, these are absolutely perfect plows to use. Um, I forget. Let me just so you know. Uh, this one is 22 meters wide. Um, and the other one is, uh, I think it's like 26 or 27 meters, something like that. And they are mod plows, obviously. Um, here's the 82. It is, yeah, 26 meters wide. So it's not a whole lot wider. But, um, you know, sometimes that does matter. And the great thing about them is if you even leave it folded up, like if we fold these sides back up, I'll show you since this field's small. So then if you have a smaller field or, you know, if you're on a map where you're making a field uh, and you want to plow something out, it's kind of hard to get some detail work with uh, it folded out. But if you fold it back up, this is perfect size for doing, you know, your fine, fine line work when you're doing fields. Um, but yeah, you can even use it folded up like this if you want a smaller one or if you have a smaller field, you know, like I said, uh, whatever your excuse is. Um, the downside of these are the fact that this is how wide it is even folded up. And as you can tell by the road over here beside me, this is wider than the road and it's like that on pretty much every map that you're on. So, um, beware of that. It is very hard, especially if it's a long trip from the shop to your farm, depending on what map you're on. <clears throat> um, if it's a long drive, you may want to try and cut through fields as much as you can and things like that, because uh, you, if there's traffic on, you are not getting anywhere with this thing hooked up. Um, I wish that uh, the modders that did this would do um, either either have you know like the invisible um, things that'll show up when you need it. Uh, you know like some of the semis that you can get. Um, you can do like a regular hookup on the back of them that it's invisible until you use it. Um, and then it shows up because I always thought you know like right here on the you know one of the ends they could do some kind of a hookup and then you could just hook up right there and pull it from one end you know and have it roll on some wheels you know like these wheels here is maybe they would un you know fold under when you fold it up and then uh, they could just roll on those wheels when you're coming back and it would be you know like a like some of those uh, headers for the harvesters that you can get um, that come with the wheels and all that and then they have the hook up to them and you can just hook up to it and pull it down the road like that uh, or some kind of a dedicated trailer for it you know like a header trailer or something um, and then that way you would just be able to pull it and not have to worry about it 
Uh, I kind of wondered that even on uh, Farm Sim 19 when these came out on there. Um, I kind of wondered that even then why they didn't have like some kind of a, a header trailer for them or something. Uh, or do it to where you have some way of hooking up to it and pulling it, you know, as it is. So, I don't know. Now, some maps have it to where you can go to the shop. Um, like, go to your map. And you can go on your map and, um, if you play the game, you know what I'm talking about. Where you, like, click on the, the implement that you want or machine that you want. Um, and you can reset it to the shop like say if you get into a wreck and you can't flip your tractor back over um, Then you have to reset your tractor and when you do that it resets and sends it to the shop uh, Then you have to go back to the shop and pick it up and drive back home or whatever uh, But some maps are set up if you go to the shop say you buy you know your tractors and things instead of going there and then driving them back to the house some maps are set up where you can uh, just click on the implement at the shop and reset it and it'll bring it to the farm for you um, at a you know a designated spot on the farm um, it'll just show up there so uh, I've had a couple maps that I've played before that did that uh, Lone Oak on Farming Simulator 19 uh, it was like that and that was nice too because um, that was a fairly long drive from the shop to your farm um, especially if you were hauling you know one of these uh, you had to keep pulling over if you could pull over you had to keep pulling over uh, for your for the cars and whatnot um, and then there was uh, the one road that you had to turn down um, I literally had to like go past my road uh, and up through someone's field just to get on to the road that I lived on um, because it was so skinny uh, it's just like a little side road <clears throat> uh, it was so skinny I couldn't even fit through with this thing folded up so uh, but yeah I didn't know that about that map when I first started out on it so I did quite a bit of the driving back and forth uh, the harvester that I bought I would buy it with the transport wheels on and then when I got to my farm I put the uh, double wides on the front of it and everything um, otherwise I couldn't drive it down the street I couldn't even get out of the uh, out of the shop parking lot because the way they had the gate set up I couldn't even get out with uh, the harvester like that so I had to put the transport wheels on it so that I could get it back to my farm but uh, I found out quite a bit later um, I was pretty far into that uh, farm and uh, I think I actually accidentally went to the shop because um, I didn't know where I was at on the map to reset the vehicle I wanted to reset and there was something at the shop and I hit the reset and then I went back to see it. my vehicle was still flipped over and I was like what the heck but when I got back to the farm I seen um, the new thing that I bought sitting at the farm and I was like oh wait a minute I couldn't believe that I could just send stuff from the shop to the house and it would just appear right there um, it did kind of suck, especially on uh, Lone Oak 19, uh, on uh, Farm Sim 19, um, because where the vehicles would spawn, you weren't allowed to build anything right there, and it was like a prime spot for, you know, a nice shed or something, and uh, you couldn't build anything right there, but that was the only downside of that. Um, other than that, I loved Lone Oak. That was, I wish they would do Lone Oak for 22. Um, but a couple of the groups that I'm in, uh, nobody's heard anything. Um, and someone said that they know the modder that, uh, I mean, I know other modders could do it, but the modder that did 
um, Lone Oak for 19 uh, said that they weren't doing it for 22 so I mean I'm sure someone else could do it I guess I don't really know how all that goes but uh, I would love to have Lone Oak on here I did uh, not a whole whole lot of hours on Lone Oak I mean um, I would say just about every time I sat down and played Lone Oak, uh, I'd be on from, you know, about 7.30 in the morning to sometimes 7 o'clock at night. Um, so when I did play it, I played it for, you know, long, long hours. Um, but it was, it was really fun. Uh, I liked Lone Oak a lot. Uh, I never really got too far. There was one time I had um, probably eight or nine fields that I'd uh, purchased, you know, over the time of being on there and, you know, working my way up and making money and stuff. Uh, but I had, altogether, I think I had nine, or not 19, nine fields <clears throat> uh, on that. The last time that I played it, I had like nine fields I was working. And they were, some of those fields on that map were pretty huge. Um, but I had a lot of fun on that map. But, you know, sometimes you get bored of doing a map and then um, I'm a person that doesn't like a lot of clutter. Uh, so usually if I don't end up playing on a map for a while, I just go ahead and delete it. Like, I'll delete the map and the save game. Um, so that I have room for something else, you know, I don't, now I have, uh, just about all my slots, all my save slots on here filled, uh, because of all the different maps that I do, because I, uh, stream live over on Twitch, um, and I have, uh, three series that I'm running over there right now, I'm getting ready to start a fourth, I think, um, I'm working on something. Uh, so, uh, right now I'm doing three series, uh, during the week I do, um, small farm and I do a grass farm. Alright, we got both our fields plowed. Didn't take very much time at all. Wait on this thing to fold up. But I have uh, a weekend series that I do, um, and it is a struggle farm, and it's on no man's land. Um, another one of my favorite maps. I think I'm going to get this a little bit closer to the shed here. This I don't really like leaving out in the rain, but... Um, I don't have a shed that it'll fit into right now. Um, like I said, I didn't buy everything, you know, to make it all comfortable, you know. We are, we are starting out kind of, uh, I mean, we have really nice equipment that we won't have to upgrade or anything for quite some time. Um, but other than that, everything else is, um, staying normal, so... Um, that's about all we, well, no, I guess we could do, um, we can go ahead and do some lime before it gets dark. I think we'll have enough time to do that. I'll go ahead and use, uh, the Terra Track. <coughs> uh, but anyway, back to Twitch, um, I have the three series for Farm Sim 22 that I'm running uh, over there. Uh, like I was saying, I have two farms that I do throughout the week. Uh, small farm, um, and it is on uh, 
European countryside map and then the grass map um, and that is on the Osada map and um, the uh, struggle farm is on Saturdays and Sundays sometimes it's Saturday and Sunday sometimes it's just one of the days um, I don't always uh, get up in the morning and do it but it is a morning stream um, on Saturdays and Sundays uh, or vice versa um, but if anything gets canceled or if I'm not going to be streaming in the mornings um, or any of my streams get canceled uh, the announcements are on my Facebook uh, gaming page for Crooked Stick Gaming um, so make sure you go check both of those out uh, I have a link uh, here on the channel on YouTube for both of those um, so go check them out uh, there's plenty of videos to watch uh, on Twitch and like I said I stream live Monday through Thursday 5.30 p.m. Um, any of the days during the week there are times that I may stream in the mornings but that's only if I get rained out because I uh, mow grass for a living and uh, if I get rained out or something like that or I just don't have any mowing to go do then um, I try to stream during the day if I can and I'll stream again at my 5.30 time Monday through Thursday is 5.30 p.m. Friday is 6 p.m. and Saturday is 6.30 p.m. Uh, Sundays if I do stream it is the morning stream which is the struggle farm on no man's land uh, but I do not stream on uh, Sunday nights it's just during the day on Sundays so make sure you go check that out right. I don't remember how far this one spreads out Yeah, pretty nice spread. Shouldn't take us hardly any time at all. We'll just hit both fields at one time. everything done that we can while it's raining and I mean we I think we could even plant in the rain but I don't know how I think all the tractors I have should do pretty good um, because this stuff does get slippery when it's raining and you're trying to pull but like on the struggle farm um, the tractor that I start out with on no man's land uh, that was you know the tractor I started out with and I kept um, it was I had the same uh, planner that I have on this map um, let me show you here real quick there it is uh, the Aspro 6000 RC it's uh, 12 meters or 6 meters I mean um, it's usually the cedar that I, it's my go to cedar uh, on quite a few many maps that I do um, that's pretty much the cedar that I use and go to um, but yeah the tractor that I started out with on that um, really was struggling to pull that cedar uh, after a rain it wasn't even raining anymore it was done raining but it was still after the rain and uh, that tractor just did not want to pull it especially going up the hills but I think the tractors we have now will uh, work just fine Uh, we may go ahead and 
sleep uh, before we decide to plant um, and that way uh, we can give the weeds a chance to grow um, and then we can go ahead and come through and spray first and then we'll um, kill all the weeds and then we can come through and plant and then we don't have to worry about weeds at all Um, the reason I don't connect uh, these two together, if you're thinking that, um, because the little field, uh, we will run for a while, um, but it'll eventually be gone. Um, just because once I get going, uh, there's just no point in me having a little field like that. It's just more of a nuisance than anything else. Um, so usually once I get rolling on some good fields and uh, things like that, I uh, go ahead and get rid of that field and we'll build something over that way or something like that. I uh, don't know. We'll see. Because I have actually um, gotten rid of both of these. Well, I think half of this field. Uh, no, it was actually all of this field that I got rid of on the last one that I did on this map. Um, because I built a road uh, right there where that grass is between these two fields. I built a road down through there, down over the hill. Um, and basically right here at the edge of the field, um, I flattened everything out. Um, and I had a big chicken operation uh I had a closed in sheds and all that. Uh, everything right all through here was flat and level. Um, all the way over to the road. And I, I had sheds and barns and everything else. So it was a pretty nice setup. Getting done just in time. Ooh, looks like I missed a spot down there. And right there. I think I had a spot over in the little field too that I missed, I forgot to get. got our harvest done we've got plowed we got the lime down we'll let the rain uh, rain on that for a little while we'll go ahead and go in here and do a sleep um, and then we will probably um, end this episode and start episode two um, I apologize that this episode is maybe short, um, but I did not set my timer. I usually try to set a timer um, for the episode so I know how long they are because me being on PlayStation 4, I can only record up to an hour long. Um, so I don't want to be in the middle of something in the episode end while I'm sitting there, you know, talking. So, um, we'll go ahead and get everything closed down for the night. Everything that we can close anyway. Alright, uh, we'll go ahead and do a sleep. Um, and, uh, I will see you next episode.
Um, if you enjoyed what you see, make sure you stick around. There's another episode uh, right around the corner. Um, so go check out episode 2 of Fells Burn. If you're enjoying yourself, uh, if you are, let me know in the comments. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any uh, new video drops. Uh, I have map tours that I do whenever they happen. Um, and these episodes, you will get two new ones uh, each Tuesday and Thursday. So you'll get four episodes a week. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays, it'll be two episodes each day. Um, so hope to hear from you and have a good one. I'll catch you next time.